it is time. Hey guys, welcome to Galaxy Jams. I'm Caden Sollenberger from the Jaunty. We're going to listen to Hiatus Coyote's semi-new tune, Chivalry Is Not Dead. That looks so cool. Hope. sick this yeah. is pretty sick Caden, w- where'd you find out about this um so i've uh been following this band for a while i think i heard about them in college um went to a music school and like you know it was always about finding the new like jazz fusion band you know right, right. <laughs> and uh i forget who showed it to me but i always really liked them and uh they just put out their third album i forget if it was at the beginning of this year or maybe last year um but yeah they've only put out three this is the first one that they've done in like a like professional like studio i'm pretty sure mm-hmm. their first two were like uh, kind of diy things and they've all three gotten nominated for grammys they're just like mm. just super talented band and wow. um yeah so much soul and so much groove i re- really love them just everything with that bass line when that yeah. oh my goodness uh, yeah. i was yeah. gonna contain myself yeah this song's like Again, this album is cool because it like the production value was able to be stepped up a little bit, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, I love how it's like it's almost like a club banger, but with all this like yeah, really intense like jazz influence behind it. It's so good. Yeah, the vocals, the their vocals. Uh, it was I guess is that guest musicians or are they in the band? Because you said three members, right? Uh, I think there's so there's three instrumentalists and then the singer who also plays guitar, um, okay. and so. There might be like different background singers, but also her, she has like the most incredible range. Um, yeah. And she might have just like, you know, layered and layered and layered a bunch of stuff. I'm definitely um, checking out more of this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All three albums are amazing. <laughs> I like how it's going into this like lo fi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, Hip hop. <laughs> Electrons in the air on fire, lightning 
was happening. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that was. Yeah. That's <laughs> I, I didn't even want to stop the song. I was going to stop it again and have us talk about some more, but I didn't want to stop it. And I was just like, I can't. I just I got. You, you get to a, you get songs sometimes on on here that just like are like they're just so refreshing to right. hear. And that definitely was just it was just such a good wall of sound. And that's kind know. of the whole point of doing this is like it's it's kind of like the one we we're talking about doing this. Like let's do this in a way you know like we all like to sit around and hang out and like show each other music and yeah and be like oh this is something i'm into or hey this is something new that came out or let's check it out or you know you, you can't listen to enough music so yeah yeah re- Amen. they reminded me of this band called crumb who has like the kind of vibe with like super strong female vocal under unexpected instrumentals mm-hmm. right or unconventional instrumentals and uh, also, I really liked um, how it kind of went. It sounded like Grizz almost, like this Grizz drop where it's like this like liquid bass right. funk mm-hmm. thing, yeah. right? which I thought was cool. Passio in the chat says, really surprising. I never heard of them before, and I will check out more. That's I agree, I Passio. Definitely. The, uh, the cadence success. Of- the cadence of the vocals was so interesting. Like mm-hmm. it was like normal and I was, you know, it was very predictable. It was like, okay. And then it was very unpredictable. It started mm-hmm. doing like slow downs and I just thought that was really cool. Yeah. Uh, th- so I always, you know, like I said, I've been listening to their albums for a while and I, I, they're three of my favorite albums of all times, I think. And uh, like whenever I listened to them for a long time, I, you know, I got to know all these intricacies in the vocal patterns and mm-hmm. stuff because some of it's so unexpected. Mm-hmm. And then, I was like, okay, so this is all studio magic. But then I saw them live for the first time and um, where at? I don't know, a few months ago in Denver. Uh, I forget where the Ogden maybe. Um, and they just like blew the roof off the place first off, and like oh. every vocal part was like exactly Nailed like it. the album. Yeah, it was oh crazy. Oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I just would have like melted into a pool of my own happiness. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. I just sat in, like right behind the soundboard, you know, and it was just like. Yeah, I'm interested. <laughs> I'm interested to listen to the rest of this album. Um, yeah, it's definitely like um, all of them have like an arc, you know, mm-hmm. and they have a uh, yeah, start to finish. I would recommend it. Yeah. Bohab James in the chat Good says, Bohab. "Dig this song. We do too. This was <laughs> really really sick. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Caton. We really appreciate it. Can't wait to yeah. listen to more." Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kai here with Galaxy Jams. I hope you enjoyed that React video. If you didn't know, we live stream a music improv show every single Tuesday, and we'd love to have you there. But if you want to hear what we sound like, just give us 30 seconds. <laughs>